We live in a world of boundless information. Every day, hundreds if not thousands of discoveries are uncovered around the world. We hold in the tip of our fingers a wealth of knowledge that comes from different parts of the Earth. Every few hours, we can get notifications on our phones about new discoveries and scientific breakthroughs. As our technological advancement progresses, so does our collective hunger for more information, more discoveries, and better inventions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will discuss three of the most exciting and most recent discoveries in the fields of engineering and astronomy. Engineers solve data glitch on NASA's Voyager 1. Voyager 1 is the most distant human-made object in space. It's approximately 14.6 billion miles away from Earth. It was launched by NASA on September 5, 1977, as part of the Voyager program to gather information on the outer solar system and interstellar space outside of the Sun's heliosphere. Voyager 2 was launched 16 days after. Voyagers 1 and 2 are referred to as the twin probes. Operating for nearly half a century, the two probes have gathered valuable data for NASA over the years. Voyager 1 made amazing breakthroughs in the field of astronomy. It made flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, and Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Voyager 1 is the first probe to take detailed images of the two gas giants' moons. You might be wondering where Voyager 1 is right now. The quick answer is that it is in deep space. It made it outside of the edges of the solar system and into the interstellar medium. Due to the great distance it travelled away from the Earth, it takes about two days to send a message to the probe and another two days to get a response back, so the real answer to the question on where exactly Voyager 1 is right now is that we will never know, at least not in real time. Many people are curious to know if Voyager 1 is still working properly. After traveling billions and billions of miles over the years and considering the technology that was used to build it back in the 70s, it would be understandable if the probe breaks down and goes out of commission. Despite its age, it's very much still working except for a data glitch. This glitch caused the Voyager 1's antenna, which is pointing to the Earth, to send garbled data. This issue started in May of 2022. NASA engineers found the cause of the glitch to be a misrouting of data. They later found out that this is being caused by a command generated by another onboard computer that had stopped functioning years ago. The team concludes that there is an underlying issue somewhere else in the spacecraft. This leads many to believe that this problem is a threat to the long-term functionality of Voyager 1. Voyager project manager Suzanne Dodd stated that the solution is simply to send a command to Voyager 1 to send data to the correct computer. Thankfully, the glitch was solved and Voyager 1 is back to normal operation. Astronomers discover colossal super-spiral galaxies It's as if we have just discovered a new land animal stomping around that is the size of an elephant but had shockingly gone unnoticed by zoologists. Patrick Ogle the size of our solar system is so unfathomable to us humans that it is hard for us to imagine the size of the Milky Way. Our Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. It's a type of galaxy in which the gas and stars are concentrated mainly in one or more spiral arms. Scientists have been watching outer space for so long, and it was not until recently when they discovered a different kind of spiral galaxy, which they now call super-spiral galaxies. They were shocked to find out that such colossal galaxies can go unnoticed for so long despite their size. Patrick Ogle, an astrophysicist at the Infrared Processing and Analysis Center at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, said, We have found a previously unrecognized class of spiral galaxies that are as luminous and massive as the biggest, brightest galaxies we know of. Patrick Ogle is also the author of a new paper on the findings published in the Astrophysical Journal. Superspiral galaxies mimic the appearance of a normal spiral galaxy, which allows them to remain hidden in plain sight and unnoticed by astronomers. NASA is using archived data to conduct a study about seemingly nearby objects that are in fact distant, exceedingly massive versions of typical spiral galaxies. Scientists are baffled by the mystery of how such colossal galaxies could have come about. 
Ogle and his team accidentally discovered the super spirals as they were searching for extremely bright and large galaxies in the NASA IPAC Extra Galactic Database, an online-based repository of information of over 100 million galaxies. Believe it or not, the whole thing was a complete happenstance, and the team didn't expect to discover an exceedingly massive kind of spiral galaxy. Super spirals could fundamentally change our understanding of the formation and evolution of the most massive galaxies. We have much to learn from these newly identified galactic leviathans," said Ogle. Ogle and his team, as well as astronomers all over the world, are deeply curious as to the origin of the super spiral galaxies. Did they also come from something like a Big Bang, just like the Earth? Based on the data gathered from the research conducted by Ogle and his colleagues, the potential origin of 53 seen super spirals could be that these colossal galaxies are results of two galaxies merging. Whether or not this is true, we leave it up to the best and brightest of our astronomers to find out. Two exoplanets may be mostly water. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer find. Water is such an important resource for us humans that it is practically on the top of our priority list when it comes to finding our home outside the Earth. It needs to have water or else we will keep on searching. We need water for sustenance as we cannot survive without it. Considering how much water and resource is being put into exploring outer space and possibly finding a habitable planet for us humans, it's considered a groundbreaking discovery when NASA's Hubble and Spitzer found two exoplanets that may be mostly water. According to a news release from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the two planets, or water worlds, orbit around a dwarf star, which is the smallest and coolest kind of star. NASA also added that these two exoplanets are unlike any planet in the solar system. They are about 218 light years away in the constellation Lyra. If you are wondering how this discovery was made, it all started when a research team led by Caroline Pule, a PhD student at the University of Montreal's Institute for Research on Exoplanets, used NASA's Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes to observe the distant planetary system. We are sure of the existence of these exoplanets, however, confirming that there is actually water there gets a lot trickier. Obviously, Unless a team of scientists actually go to these exoplanets to confirm that water does exist there, we have no way of knowing for sure. The scientific basis of the researchers' hypothesis that there could be water in these exoplanets is the comparison of sizes and masses of the planets. Upon comparing the planets to the models, they found that a significant fraction of their volume, up to half of it, should be made of materials that are lighter than rock but heavier than hydrogen or helium. Water is the most likely candidate for a material that is heavier than hydrogen or helium but lighter than rock, according to NASA. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.